All right, pizza review time. We're back again. This week, a classic, a heavily advertised classic. I don't know, is it actually classic good? I don't know, but... DiGiorno. Supreme. Rising Crust. Rising Crust is the classic. I've had the, like, brick oven style, thin crust type, which I generally like more. But that was before I started doing pizza reviews, so... I mean, start a, since I've started doing pizza reviews, I've got in this mental state. I've been honed in on exactly how I'm rating my pizzas. So we'll see how this goes. Again, do I need to reiterate it? I don't know. Do I generally like the thicker rising crust? No. I'm a thin crust guy. Is there a little bit of bias going into this one? Maybe. But I'm going to do my best to be impartial make my decision when it comes to ingredients I've become an ingredients guy the crust has a few extra things in there riboflavin folic acid some shit that's probably not necessary the cheese is quality mozzarella cheese it's like milk cultured milk and all that shit and some enzymes and salt that's fine what I would expect the toppings that's where we get a little bit out of control. There's like 700 ingredients in the pepperonis and sausages and peppers and who knows what. But here we go, regardless. They say it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. That's because it's very clearly not delivery pizza because it's not that good. <laughs> it's DiGiorno pizza, it's frozen pizza. It's fine. But it's not as good as delivery pizza. It's honestly not bad, though. Like, the crust on its own is solid. Like, it's... It's not like that overly oily, sweet type crust that I am not a huge fan of. But it's not bland. There's definitely some, like, crisped up cheese on the crust. Which gives it a nice little... I can tell the cheese is good. It's quality cheese. I'm actually a big, really big fan of the cheese. I like it. The sauce is also pretty good too. It's got like a little bit of a, a little tang to it. This box says, now with even more cheese. I think that's a good addition. I think the last time I've had DiGiorno, I didn't have that disclaimer on there. And the cheese is probably the best part of it. Honestly, it's pretty good. I had kind of low expectations going in, but 
I like it a little bit more than I thought I would. I'm going to give it a... Six point five. That's a review.